Got four bras and they all that we call that Ballin', doing this is my calling Flow is so appalling My phone off and she calling I'm like, yeah, what it do? Welcome back guys to episode 2 of 30 for 30. Here we're using the Boston Bruins and we're going to be playing against the Dallas Stars. So a little bit of a um, player rivalry I guess. I, um, they did a big trade over the offseason shipping uh, Louis Erickson basically for Rich Peverly and Tyler Sagan. So I'll talk to you guys when we get some action. So right here Sean Thornton comes up the wing and he gets nailed. Completely leveled. Aaron Rome then picks up the puck. He passes up to Fiddler, who's just going to skate right into the zone. He gets nailed, and then somehow the puck just squirts right through Rask's five hole. I don't know what happened. Um, basically, it was like, I forget who touched it, but I'm pretty sure it was number 21. Not sure who that is. And he touched it, and it kind of just went through his five hole. And nothing really much, I guess, he could do about that. I don't know. Maybe just close up your five hole. So Lucic would come up the side, he'd beat one guy to the middle, make a really nice pass over to Krejci, and Krejci would just put it right home, makes no mistake of it, and that would make it 1-1 late in the first. Riley Smith would have the puck in the corner, and he'd bring it back to Krug, who would just pass it down to Marshawn. i try to get it back to Bergeron, but Riley Smith picked it up, couldn't put it in the net, and the period would end. So at the end of 1, it is 1-1. One so as you guys can see, by the time on attack and shots, we're doubling this guy up on every single stat. So I think we should definitely be winning this game, but I don't know. I think he's getting pretty lucky. So we'll see what happens in the second period. Golagasi would get it. He'd pass it over to Jamie Ben, and Jamie Ben would walk right in, and I don't know how, but it hits off the bottom of Rask's glove and just goes right in the net. Very weird goal and it kind of made me mad when this happened, but what are you going to do? So right here, Boychuk would come behind the net. He'd come out, skate it up, pass it up to Marchant, who would get it right to Krejci. I'm thinking he's going to get a goal here and he misses the net. So that was kind of heartbreaking, but then Krejci sees Chara over right here and he just slaps it right to the top corner. Really, really nice shot by Chara. So we'd work it low, we'd try to get a pass off to Boychuk and it wouldn't go through and then we'd just try to get it deep, maybe get a shot, but it doesn't really happen. So yeah, that's the end of the second period and it's all knotted up at two. As you can see, we're still outplaying him very, very badly. Um, we also have double the time on attack and double the shots, so I don't know how we're not killing this guy right now. He has five shots and two goals, so... I don't know what is going on. So right here, Boychuk's going to escape from a hit. He'll give it right up to Louis Erickson, and I'm hoping he's going to do something nice. So he gets past both D-men, and he just couldn't put it five-hole on letting in. That would be the story of the game if he scored right there. Again, he misses the net. If I bet if he hit the net right there, we would have uh, gotten the win. And right there, we're just getting so many shots. I don't know how we're not getting anything going. But that is how the third period would end, and we would go into overtime with a 2-2 tie. So as you can see right here, we are out shooting him 24-7, and we are out time and attack right now. We're beating him on time and attack. We have 10 minutes, and he has like 350. So very, very frustrating. I don't know how he has two goals on seven shots and I have two goals on 24, but what are you going to do? So here's the start of overtime. So we would take a penalty late in overtime. He would pass it up to Sagan, bring it towards the middle, and just rip a clap top right on Rass. So bad way to end the game on our part, but, I mean, there's nothing I could really do. I outplayed him, and I just didn't get the win. So as you guys can clearly see here, we completely outplayed this guy. Time on attack was no question. We outplayed him, and we had so many more shots. He had three goals on eight shots, and we had two goals on 29. We wouldn't get any stars, and of course, Kerry Lettinen is going to get the first star.